Hi, you guys! Welcome to the Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology class. I'm so glad you have you here. It's fall 24, and I'm 2024. The first time we're going full back in person into the labs for the practical part. So I'm really excited about that. And my name is Christoph Mullinghaus. People call me Dr. M. That's making it easier. I'm your instructor for both, um, well, your teacher, and I actually see myself more as a coach uh, because we're kind of doing this together, learning about our own body. That's what anatomy and physiology is about. Um, let me see, what are we going to talk about here? Let's just go right into the class. I'm going to make me a little smaller. Oops. And the class a little bigger. So, and you, first thing you got to do is make sure you'll be able to get into uh, the canvas shell. If you get into the canvas shell, then you go to the dashboard, which is right here. Uh, and then when you click there, you get all your classes sign up and then you click on the one that we have, which is bio 24, basic anatomy and physiology and then section 20, 42, 260. And you get to this homepage. See here, you can see here the homepage. You can always go back to the homepage, clicking on this icon here. Um, on top of the homepage, you get announcements. The recent announcements, the first one here is the welcome letter. Uh, oops, where um, I describe the class a little bit more in words. I send you that on text uh, as well. And then further down here, you get a little picture of me with a skeleton and then uh, contact info if you, you want to see how you communicate with me. But easiest to work with me or talk to me and reach me is send me a text. Here's my number, 510 387 Two nine four six is always the number for texting. You can reach me whenever you want. If I don't want to pick it up, it's in the middle of the night. I have the phone away from me. I'll pick it up in the morning, but you don't need to feel like you can't text me. Um, we also have, of course, the Canvas emails here, the inbox that we use as well. And then I use announcements as well. So those are sort of my three main ways that I talk to you. Uh, uh, or, or communicate is trying to send your text, put it in announcements and send an email. Um, and that way, hopefully most of you get what I want to talk to you about. If you want to talk to me again, easiest is text. I see it. I have a lot of students this semester. Don't feel um, personally, take it personally. If I don't respond back to you right away, uh, you know, shoot me another one as the more urgent than I definitely will get it. Um, uh, uh, but hopefully I can be able to just do that and reach back to you as soon as possible. When we go down here on these prompts, these are um, uh, links. The first one goes to the regular course material. The second one is to the syllabus. And then we have an introduction Zoom session. We, we're, we're now going back to the classroom. So a lot of what we did on Zoom, we can now do in the class. The lectures are online. The lab practical stuff is more in person. Uh, what I will do is I will do a preview of the week coming, like a five minute or so, just to preview the week uh, Monday morning, because some of you guys have lab on Thursday. Oh, make sure you check your lab section. We have lab on Monday, on Wednesday, or on Thursday, and it's from 6 to 8.50. We'll try to make it 8.30 in copy break, but um, um, something like that. But Make sure you figure out which section you are. I do have possibly some variability to f move a few people around, but not too much because it is, you know, an in-person thing and we still have this COVID stuff around and all of that. So we've got to be a little careful with crowding the classroom too much. So anyway, that will change to a preview Zoom that we'll do or a preview video that we can see every week what we're doing this week. And then we go here to study tools. And, and that's a link that shows you about um, uh, a little bit of how we study this, mass, this, this anatomy and this physiology stuff. Um, and a lot of this is, is it's not like you're you know, writing a paper on a topic and you analyze and think about it. A lot of this is already kind of predetermined how things work. And we study of how they work and then we memorize what we've studied and learn what we studied. So it's very important that you guys learn or you don't, most of you probably already know that there at least we touch on different ways of studying and different ways of taking information in and processing it and then be able to retain it and apply it later on and not just, you know, listening to me talking and then that's the end of that and you fall asleep. That doesn't give you too much retention. 
Um, and of course, I very much am an advocate of flashcards. I work with this, uh, talk a little bit here about how the neurology works, how the, 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 the circuitry works in the brain of how to make memory. And then we go into the flashcard system that we'll discuss more in detail. It basically is a system that helps you weed out whatever you know, so you focus on the, the things that are harder. So that's really what that system is doing. A lot of these days you got it, you know, on the apps. And I just came came to this world before the apps. And so I have that sort of, well, there is a discussion point to be had about writing versus typing. I, I think we do have uh, some um, uh, benefits with still writing uh, for a lot of us. But I will not say that I know that. That's more a hypothesis. Um, anyway, that's some study tools. And then we also got a, a Zoom link, a group Zoom link, that is just a room up in the cloud that, that you know, we're going to meet in lab again. So it's not going to be as crucial to have that. But still, I have it there if we want to quickly connect with each other or you as in students or you guys say, hey, I got some questions. Can you so join us mom for a moment? And then I could do that. This is the portal of entry where we can get into that uh, and meet up in the cloud. So that's kind of cool. But then let's go right into the week. So when you look into the material, I show you a week at a time. These things are called modules. These are different chapters, so to speak. Most of how we organize it is, is by week. We have a couple in the beginning. We have uh, learning tools. We just looked at that, tools to help you study. And then I do have a textbook and uh, material that I created uh, uh, over the years that I sort of, you know, I've studied the stuff since, you know, forever with chiropractic school, massage school, and then prerequisites, and then all teaching for 20 years. And, and so it all kind of, uh, 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 I realize textbooks are often extremely text heavy, very difficult to understand. And I swear they put in language to make you fall asleep because I still fall asleep reading them and I know this stuff. So what I've done is I realized a lot of this stuff is taught way better with pictures and then describe pictures. And so what I've done is I've done a picture text booklet with the essence of the text that we need of all the different five, six books that I've read, extracted that and put it in my own version. That is sort of the essence with pictures. And then we talk about it in videos. Videos are even barcoded here. So you just go to the park and do the studies there if you want. Uh, I do also print out everything that we use in class. We have some integration. One of the things I try to make this class, um, um, uh, uh, make this class palpable and real is real life based, applicable. What does this mean to me in my real life? Not just some theoretical name of a muscle, but what does it do to me? What does it mean? And so I created these health kit activities where we, we integrate the information. Um, and as it actually turns out, they're kind of like the foundation of a life coaching thing almost, because we talk about posture, we talk about workstation, we look at some food labelings, we look at, we do gratitude journaling, we do stuff like that a little bit to just make it relevant. That's the word I was looking for, relevant. But anyway, uh, these are my booklets that I got that I uh, like you to get. I do have to charge some money for them. They're a hundred bucks as a collective because I, it takes a lot of time and energy to make them. And we haven't been able to outsource them for a feasible fee yet because it's it's a lot of folding and stapling and all that kind of stuff. But it's worth it. And the students have over the years really made clear to me that it helps them studying. So I have them there. And I will, if possible, I like you to get a set. Um, if it's difficult work with me, uh, I will be happy to work with you uh, to accommodate and do installments or whatever it takes. Um, anyway, that's that. And then um, when we go back to the modules here, we also have tutoring, a link for tutoring. Although I hope a lot of that we can also do internally with our each other, especially now that we're going back to the classroom. Can I not tell you how excited I am about that? I know we got to show up in person, but it is really cool to be able to work with each other in person and make it 3D and do the models and touch it and talk about it. And so it's going to be exciting. Um, the orientation model just talks about me a little bit, how to talk to me. We already went through that. The so diversity is very important. I, I, I very thrilled that we are in a community that has so many different um, um, aspects of life common, different experiences common at all. So we can learn from each other so nicely. 
but it does mean that we know how to sometimes talk to each other. And so I want to make sure we have um, a little little uh, conversation or a little um, clarity of what we uh, expect in terms of diversity, what we how we work with each other, how we 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 don't discriminate. We 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 learn from each other. That's sort of the way. Um, well, it's the only way. I mean, um, and help improve the course. Uh, you know, we always want to make it better. And then we got a syllabus here. We're going to go through the syllabus extensively in the first uh, lab. Uh, uh, and we, you know, talk about all the details more. We also have help for Canvas if you need some more help to maneuver around here. We can also help each other with that. Then there's some student resources and support. And then Studio is a filmmaking software that is in Canvas, um, which is, is all right, but you can also actually just use your phone and take your videos that way or your audio and then upload. Canvas has a really good app. I want to make sure you're aware of that. Make sure you, you look for, your, for the app for Canvas because so much you can do on the app. Um, for me, including grading, I mean, I, I can take my dog out for a walk and, and well, and, and when he wants to sit down and, you know, he just wants to look around the world, I can do some grading on that app. It's really that good. So, and, and when it comes to the, 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 the studio thing, it's the application within Canvas that helps you make videos, but you can use your own, you know, selfie making things and, and photo uh, video making on the phone and then upload that. Uh, video onto Canvas if you want. That makes it it's probably a little easier for most of us. Um, and, and, and having said that is I'm very interested in you guys learning the way that it fits your brain. So, so some of us, when we do some discussions, we do have a little bit of some discussions. Uh, typing is really hard. And for me, typing is really hard. And so instead of typing, well, you could do a, a video or even an audio and then upload that. So I'm very interested in having you be able to be creative uh and and or you know work with your brain of how your brain works and and find that stuff out if you haven't you know if you're new to this learning type thing then then this is a good time to explore how do i function anyway when we look at each week we have an intro where we talk about what we're going to do this week briefly uh and then every week has at least one lecture, and the lectures are produced, provided in a video format. A couple of one, I talk a voiceover lecture, I talk into the computer. It's going to come up. See, it looks just blank like that, uh, uh, or just a thing. And then the other video I made in a classroom when I was still teaching before the pandemic uh, in the classroom. And so you have a choice. You, it's the same material. You don't have to look at both of those, but you either or and some people like one other than better than the other and, and and but don't think like you have to look at everything that is presented up here and then the main concepts are again presented in some bullet point format just sort of the essence so that way you have something to attach these thoughts to um and also an initial way of taking notes for you or making flashcards or however you'd like to do the studying and then did you see those tabs? So it's all organized like that. So the information is in tabs. So it's not too overwhelming all at once. It's not a long scroll forever. And then after the lecture, each lecture has questions laid behind it. And the questions laid behind them, I think, yeah, I have to leave the student view to show that because they're not open yet. Um, the questions laid behind them are basically concepts Every concept that I talk about, I want to have in another in a question again. And I'm writing a paragraph. See here, for example, I'm writing a paragraph and then there's a question behind. Look at that, even a longer. So I'm describing everything again and then have a question behind it that, of course, you answer. But you can take these. It's a quiz format, really. But you can take them over and over again. And that way we massage the material into the brain. And that's actually you know, a fair amount of the points. So you can you can get a bunch of your 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 point values to the grade, this sort of speak busy work uh, that I want you to do to learn the material. And if you get hung up or so and you or you have a day is like, oh, I can't deal with it. Then you also have a video you can watch here and I explain the uh, situation and that way it integrates the information. 
Now you can say like, well, that's just kind of the lazy way. But you know, you're watching an hour of a video of me doing it and you follow along. So it's a bait. You don't have to feel like it's a cheat. So you do it the way it's easiest for you, what you, uh, how you absorb material best. At the end, there is gonna be three tests and the tests are a similar format that the quiz application, like you just saw in the questions, but you can't retake those over and over. You can only take those one time. And so, you know, you do need to study the material some. But the tests, um, I do make my tests so they're open book, especially since the pandemic. And so it does help you to really be organized in your notes and have a system. And then when the test comes, you have a way of looking things up. And of course, my hope is you keep the stuff around for later so you can look th stuff up later on because my mission really is to teach you how your body works so you can make good medical decisions. And as I just realized, I'm freaking you out because I'm keeping my view open, not the student views. And so it looks like many, many more um, exercises and activities to do uh, because when we go into the classroom, a lot of it is just generically done or not generically, but automatically done when we, we, we work with each other. Um, in the first chapter week, I also want you to spend a little time of thinking of when you're going to study for this material. That's what this is about. And then um, and then, um, in the beginning, we do have some concept discussions that I do want to do online. Um, a lot of the discussions that used to be online, we're now doing in a classroom. Um, and that makes it a little... Uh, more again, it's just more natural in the flow. But but we have some that I want you to think about. Like for example, in chapter one, I want you to think about. Oh look, it's 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 not open yet. But I want you to think about, for example, what is uh, homeostasis or a few concepts that need to be that I want you to understand extra well. And then you know this this is actually the biggest one. Uh, like structure dictates function, how something looks will make sure it works in a way that it kind of looks like a tire is round so you can roll. It's not a square. It would be really hard to roll a square tire. And so that those are kind of concepts that that I need you to to grasp. Um, and so the most important ones, I feel I put some questions behind it again. Put that student view on so I don't freak you out. There you go. And then, wherever we have terminology, we're going to have a coloring and a labeling um, 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 uh, activity laid behind it. So I give you a list of terms. Mostly, the first one's a little different. That's why I'm not going to go into that. I give you a list of terms, and you label them, and you color them on pictures, and then you upload them. A lot of that we're going to do in lab, but you're still going to upload it on, on Canvas. That way it's easy for me to manage. And also I have the ability here that you can annotate directly into the tablet if you want with a pencil. So we have that availability too at this point. And that's about the way this stuff is mostly structured. I do have one activity that for some reason is not listed in here that needs to come back in here. And that is... The health kit. So I have these health kits I talked to you about already a little bit. See down in here, the health kit. And so those activities um, are bringing the information closer to you. And so we're going to have one. We start first um, Monday. We're going to start talking about lifestyle assessments and habit creations and how to make changes. And so I will in detail go through that in the class section. That's probably why it's not on the prompt in your Canvas uh, but those are the health kit activities that I have multiples of uh, throughout the semester to, again, make the material relevant and user for, useful and applicable to life. Okay, uh, that's about it so far, I think. Let's see what else we got going on. I think we're good. Um, modules, yeah, that's it. All right, so hopefully I'll see you all. Well, no, certainly. I will see you all in, um, in lab. No further ado, let me be quiet. Have a wonderful time and I look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.